I got referred here by my ophthalmologist, my just regular ophthalmologist, and uh, and so when I got here, it was just amazing to me the reception that they from the very beginning, from the when you check in all the way back. But once Dr. Gross found out what was wrong, he decided that this was not the place that I needed to be, that my problem was more retina. So I wound up being referred to another physician and I had retinal surgery for thickening of the retina. And then I came back here because the sight that I had then in that eye was not good. It was just very poor. And that's when I got to dealing with Jerry, their contact guy, who is to me probably one of the best people I've ever dealt with in terms of his patience, in terms of his demeanor, in terms of his attitude, everything. But everything was going along fine until Christmas of last year when I had to have retinal surgery again on Christmas Day. I had eight detachments and after the surgery I was told that I would never be able to see well out of that eye again. I came back to Jerry once the doctor released me and Jerry started working with different contacts. He looked at different soft contacts. He, he tried hard over top of soft. He kept looking at trying to find the right combination to make it where I could see as well as possible. Well, it turned out that he found a contact that was both hard and soft. I think it has a hard middle. I was able to see 20-20 from both eyes. And when I went back to my retina guy, he could not believe that I could see that well out of that eye. He's looking at the chart and he says, he sees 20-20? Uh, and he said, what's happened? I said, well, Jerry over at Dr. Gross's office. He said, I think I need to go see Jerry. But the fact that I can see well now and I can see this good at this age of 70 is very important to me. And I just feel very fortunate that I have found this office, these people, whether it's behind the desk when you get here or when you leave and they talk to you. But Jerry is very special to my life and I want you to know that. That's it.